Another local team found themselves in the state tournament as well, and although things didn't go the Pine River Back as softball team's way earlier today, we were able to catch up with the team before heading off to state. I had two strikes on me, and I was hitting a few fall balls, so I was a little nervous in there, but once I hit the ball, I just I knew that it was it. Was it. Thanks to a walk-off single from Semler last week over Sabika, the Pine River Bacchus softball team made their first ever state tournament. It's the greatest experience in the world because it was unexpected. It was crazy. It was just, it was a phenomenal experience. We were all jumping up and down. Coach Reaver was crying, and it was the best thing that's ever happened to me in sports. The win was just one of eight for the Tigers in the Section 5A tournament, who had to battle their way through the loser's bracket after losing to Sabika early on. We knew that we could like make it through the loser's bracket, so... It was just kind of like, we're going to go up against the week again. Now the new kids on the block are ready to make their mark. My hope is that we can go down there and win a couple of games. I'd be happy with one win. I don't know what's going to happen when we get down there, but at the same time, I think uh, we're one of the eight teams. We have a chance, and like I said, anything can happen in a game. And to do so, they say it'll come down to their pitching and defense because they can always find a way to score. We just want to play the best defense that we can and Coach Reaver always says, we'll find a way to score, so we just have to play defense behind Maya. But no matter what happens at State, the team says this season has been a success. It's one of a kind. I've never experienced it like this before. It's been amazing. Definitely one of the, the best season that we've had. And this was amazing just to be a part of this team. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.